Venues across our area are planning watch parties to witness history. CBS 2's Lori Bordnero continues our team coverage from the New York Hall of Science Museum in Queens, where science enthusiasts have their glasses ready. More than 2,000 people are expected here at the museum for tomorrow's viewing, and with less than 24 hours to go, the excitement is building. This is the first time putting them on. Michael Halkiadak is testing out his solar glasses at the New York Hall of Science Museum. He can barely contain oh, his excitement. I can't wait. The museum expecting 2,000 viewers for Monday's watch party on the lawn. This is truly science, and you'll be able to see um, the effects of the moon blocking the sun, but it's something everyone gets to do. This group of boys ready for a real life science lesson. We're very lucky to have this opportunity. Mm -hmm. We have them right here. Yeah, we have, must wear them, otherwise our eyes will get hurt. City and state officials warning spectators not to look up without the proper protection. Don't be blinded by the light. And in anticipation, we have these incredibly cool glasses. These are going to be a collector's item after this date. Pass them on to your children and grandchildren through generations. There was a rush for free glasses at places like Warby Parker, who was all out by early Sunday. At Moynihan Train Hall, free glasses were gone in about 20 minutes. It was worth it. Yes. Devin Mays finally had luck here at the museum. I had to go um, to the New York Library in Hunter's Point and Astoria. The president of the museum says you can also make your own viewing device. That lets you view on this screen the whole eclipse without having to look directly at the sun. However you choose to watch, just know the next chance won't be until 2044. This is once in a very long time experience. We probably won't see it again for a quite, quite a long time. And I've got my first alert glasses here, so I'm all ready to go tomorrow. The viewing party here will be held from 1 to 5 p.m. In Corona, Lori Bordnero, CBS 2 News.